a new record and when it take off, then Bay Bay will play it on the radio. Then them niggas gone. They they calling me. We out we out the state. Damn. Now, fuck now. It done changed. That shit ain't on. So so at the end, so it ain't about my rap. But at the end, at the time, I remember back in the day, I used to every time I book a show, I used to book at least four rappers from. Dallas at one time and we used to all go in there and, and mob around. The last time I ever did that is Super Bowl in Houston. The last Super Bowl in Houston, I booked Yellow Freddy and three. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Even in high school, I always been But it's so crazy I, because I, you I was, was taking them all these different places getting that's them like right now. No, so no, I just, no, that's like right now. The whole city right now feel like this and that about Ryan Water, but I'm taking up for the rappers. Ain't even about my rappers. They don't, these days don't have to play no records for my rappers. Cause I'm gonna do my thing regardless. But I'm saying that as a whole, the DJs ain't breaking shit. So it's not about my section. It's about in a whole. The mm. the the grind the the grind O'Shea's that that doing millions of views and nobody playing his shit. You know what I'm saying? The upcoming rappers, the little tools in them over there that that's doing numbers. Nobody playing their shit. So so I walk in the I used to walk in the club back in the dancing era, and every single time you walk in the club, it's a different rapper playing a different song. It did like this. First they hit the the, the club circ with J Rock and then DMX and 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 they'll play a new record and when they take off, then Bay Bay will play it on the radio. Then them niggas gone. They they calling me. We out we out the state. Damn. Now, fuck now. It done changed. That shit ain't on. So so at the end, so it ain't about my rap. But at the end, at the time, I remember back in the day, I used to every time I book a show, I used to book at least four rappers from. Dallas at one time and we used to all go in there and, and mob around. The last time I ever did that is Super Bowl in Houston. The last Super Bowl in Houston, I booked Yellow Freddy and three. Mm -hmm. And and Junior Baby was the DJ and we all walked in there as one and it was a, a bunch of us from Dallas and we, we performed and we, and we made Dallas look good. You that's that's the the reason why I found a different type of respect for you when I researched you, bro. Yeah. Like, like you really like you did, did a lot of work, man. Yeah, I didn't even know. Like, and 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 it was crazy because, like I said, when he was when when he hit that said that, or or if I'm talking to the definition DJs or whoever, they always mention rain, rain, and he gonna keep bringing it. Shout out, go DJ Fresh. Different, he uh, shout out Jack Frost. You know, different people. Yeah, uh, 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 K Rock. So you, you know, do have a lot of love in Dallas. A lot of you people, just might not the, realize they it. They respect him. I don't know how much they love him, but they damn you sure respect him. You might not realize because people yeah. might not say to your face, but... They don't publicly say it. Right, but a lot of people... Yeah. Let me tell you, Jack Frost, 19, 20 years old, like I said, I was homeless, so every day I used to wake up and go to uh, and go to DG's and Onyx and get their free lunch. Damn. At, at, 11, at 11 or 12 o'clock, between 11 and 1 o'clock, he used to go to DG's and Onyx. Did he know? In the day trip. They knew. I started trying to pimp. I started doing everything, trying to get me some money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I said, "Fuck it," and started breaking the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, you you that's what <laughs> I'm saying. Whatever works. Man, whatever, but, whatever works. But you're yeah. different, bro. Like you different. And at the end of the day, you one of those guys that I respect because of the, what I've heard sitting in the seat. I didn't know this stuff, bro. Yeah. So that's dope, man. You you that's that's the part I know that. Uh, and the fact that. With all that you feel that everybody turned their back on you, you still haven't turned your back on Dallas. Oh, nah, not really. Why? Wow, that's a good question. Uh, because uh, they not realizing it's easy, it's an easy market. You know what I'm saying? It's an easy market to run. Yeah, and but so, with all of the the the. Fuck them. My my chat. My kids and my mom and I'm good. I'm, man. I'm I'm living. I'm man. That fuck them. You know what I'm saying? They gonna realize. Let them, they they gonna realize that on. But at the end of the day, they not they they uh. It's easy because I watch other rappers come and get on. Let another nigga. Let another nigga come from another city. You are gonna see a thousand niggas trying to get on stage in Dallas mm -hmm. and, and, and and get behind them and smoke weed next to them. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.